Okay, we'll get the facilities meeting started. Today is Monday, August the 27th. Um, in attendance for, in, from the board is Mr. Strobel, uh, Mr. Durso, myself, uh, from the administration, Mr. Blankenbiller, and Mr. Small. Um, okay, Casey, where, where you wanna start? Um, uh, just a quick uh, just discussion, and Lauren maybe I'll answer more of this one. Uh, River Rock. Um, GCA pretty much, and GCA is kind of, I'll, I'll lump these two in here together. <clears throat> GCA pretty much failed miserably this summer. Um, none of the buildings were really cleaned properly, none of them were really ready. Uh, classrooms were okay in some buildings, other buildings they were not. Hallways weren't touched, bathrooms really weren't touched. They only started really cleaning and detailing the River Rock side down here on Monday the 13th. So, as the landlord, what is our obligation to provide to uh, River Rock on a summer cleaning basis? So, I would think our responsibility is, what it's always been in years past, is to have all of the spaces cleaned properly and prepared for them to move in. Um, GCA was provided the, the move-in date on July 21st. They were told when the staff was coming in. So they had three weeks notice as to when River Rock was gonna be manning the offices here. So um, Mr. Torsha just came to me the other day just discussing how the, the noise rooms, the quiet rooms, how that looked and everything like that and, and just going over some things. And he's like, hey, he goes, you know, and next year if we need to bring a cleaning company in, just let us know and we'll do it because we can't have you know, like the hallways aren't done, the, the cafeteria wasn't done, and that kind of stuff, and, and it's now, it, it's an issue. I mean, do they have to be done? Not necessarily, but should have they been done? Absolutely. You know, they weren't clean, they weren't waxed, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, what at what recourse, I guess I'm asking, does what what's our responsibility in regards to the lease, and then, you know, what recourse do I have to go back to GCA and say, you, you know, moving forward, you, you need to make sure this is done or it's going to cost this amount of money because we need to bring someone in to do that. I mean, is that how it works? I, I'm not, last year they did it pretty efficiently. So I, I kind of, yes, I got caught my pants down a little bit, you know, um, with this one and, and, you know, they just were not performing everywhere. So what, what did they do the last two summers here for GC or for floors? They GCA would empty the, the spaces, classrooms. all the classrooms, the offices, the, the hallways, the cafeteria. <clears throat> um, you know, now we use the cafeteria as well, but um, you know, cafeteria, the library, they came in and vacuumed this and wiped everything down and, and did a normal summer cleaning in this space ever since I've been here. Is this part of their contract? I don't have your contract with me, but I wonder if it's, I'd have Because I know there's a provision in the contract because you've, you've <coughs> stated that many times that failure to perform, we could hire someone else to do it and deduct it from there, from what, for what we reimburse. Yeah, I just, I just, uh, well, well, plus how long's your contract? How long's your contract? Well, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's next year. Itself, next year. <coughs> um, His key. But I can't get into my computer well, to change. Whoever we get, whether it's so ourselves it or <laughs> somebody different than them or external or work with them, there should be some type of a process that, you know, on a monthly basis or on a bi weekly basis. It's called management. It is, and, and, and it I, is management. And, and it yeah. do that, but yeah. it, it, it's just ignored. It's it's flat out ignored. Right. I, I, I'll be honest with you. It, it, this year has been by far the most frustrating summer with them. Um, you know, I was I was as much hands off as I could because there again I always got told I'm, I'm, I'm in their business too much. I'm, I'm they need to manage their staff, so I kept telling Jamie like, this isn't done, this isn't done. We're, you're you're behind here. They provided me a schedule. Um, they followed that maybe the first two weeks. After that, the schedule I was did meet with another contracting company this past week. P and okay. Angela did, and I guess this company has taken over. I think he said seven or eight of the GCA contracts or ABM right now. Um, he's going to actually come to the next facility meeting. Perfect. Just to introduce yeah. himself. Okay. That's. I told him that we were going out for RFP in the fall because well, it's time. We don't have to wait that long. We don't have to wait that long, but we can go RFP to the Maybe fall. We shouldn't get paid this next invoice. Yeah, I, I just 
by the volume that Mr. Spores, if you read through his yeah. email, just that volume, the you know, end. bugs and the lights, I mean, that's always something that I remember you saying. Yeah. That, you, they drop the lights anyway because that's, that's when you did the normal, bulb replacement. That's yeah. just normal. Tough. That's just normal maintenance. I mean, <clears throat> and it's not just the high school. Um, I, I mean, it, it's every building. They've they've just they've just failed. They, they didn't burnish right. a single hallway. And, and I said to them, I said, you don't have to go and wax the terrazzo hallways. Burnish them. There's products out there that you you clean the floor. It's called Zing. You, you put it in an auto scrubber. You clean the floor with it, you take a burnisher, two or three passes, and it brings the shine back like it's brand new. And and there's so much wax on our floors already, there's no need to add any more wax. Right. Let yeah, people wear it down. It, it, we did that at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a phenomenal product. It, it, it works great. It's inexpensive and I've 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 led them down a lot of paths to make their jobs easier and they just continue to to buck the system. Like even even with they, a new company though, I think there's like we had five buildings, six buildings in our where we were at and the same woes with outside cleaning companies. It's just tough sometimes for them to get good help and all of the above. Right. But they had a contract, and we had a contract. And so each building person, when we came across something, there was a report they had to turn in every week. Every week, here's what you did. And, you know, so you'd go back over and look at it. And, or if it was daily, even, uh, we'd make them, if it got that bad, they'd fill it out daily. Wait. But you'd have it at least. And just, let me bear with yeah. me just for a second. <clears throat> and that way you're not, you're not bugging them. But somebody reports, like Mr. Spore says, the lights are out. It's on there. Oh, really? You, you click that off, and then there's a recourse. There's reprimand for that. You do that again. We're going to take that out of your out of your pay. And it's just it's never argumentative. It's all based on a piece of paper. It's consistent. It's every week. It's the same thing, you know. Um, and so every time there's something comes in, if there's a complaint from one of the people, you just go right back to the piece of paper. If it's doc if it's forged, it, there's there's a ding. I guess my question is. Yeah, and they're probably not fixable is what I'm saying to you now. But and the it's, second thing would be is, is I don't know why you were ever told to not manage them because you're responsible for them. But, you know, at the end of the day, they hold you responsible, but yet you can't talk to them. I think that's, a, that's another think problem. the managing maybe. aspect was when you were actually telling the workers and then they oh, okay. and then Jamie came in and says, no, you need to come to me first. I think that was Because Jamie wasn't saw. responding to you. Well, th this, this morning. <laughs> exactly. And, so that's what that's exactly. that. Yeah. And, yeah. and then this morning was a classic example. The, this morning at 20 after 6, uh, Mr. Spores calls me and says there's a smell of a, a belt burning in the annex calf. I said there, there's an issue with the one unit that we need to kind of rebuild all the bearings and realign, but we have to, it's, it's a mess. But every six months we got to change, change the belt. And we're about five, five and a half months into it and it, it needs a belt change. So I called Kenny Templin and I said, are you at the high school? Can you go down and change that belt? He goes, I'm at Amity Elementary, sorry, Intermediate Center. I said, why are you there? He goes, I'm filling in for Walt, he's not here. I said, why are you filling in for a custodian? Why aren't the grounds guys filling? He goes, I got the phone call, Walt's not in. I was told to go over there. So I called Jamie at 6.30, doesn't answer his phone. I leave him a message. Now it's the first day of school and he doesn't answer his phone. So I left a message, I said, why didn't you send Jose, one of the grounds guys over, and why would you pull Kenny, who's one of the maintenance guys the first day of school when we have all the stuff going on at the high school, which is the first time we're doing this at the high school. Kenny knows the high school, in and out, was up there 27 years. Kenny said he was gonna stay at the high school if anything came up, and now he gets pulled, but Jamie didn't answer his phone. So, there again, I left a message. And what, what, what's the other you know, guy, Mike? Mike Burns. Burns. He's out of New Jersey. Just so or wherever he's out of. Yeah, I'm saying that like that. No, but I'm saying that's he's not anywhere near here. Sorry, he's just not anywhere near here. So, um, you know, that's frustrating. Yeah. Well, I guess my question is, if all this stuff wasn't done, what did they do all summer? Right. Nothing. I mean, were they not fully nope. staffed? That they were short a couple people, but you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the, the girl that was here, she was here four hours a day um, for two and a half months. I don't know what she did because she wasn't cleaning our <coughs> spaces. I mean, I can take it in my office. I have the same fl dead flies on my windowsills for a year and a half. Um, you know, I'm starting to name them actually. Um, but uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, you know, but. Um, and I don't have anything bad to say about the one here because when I moved in, 
I had her come in and clean my office. I guess Lauren, when he's in there, he was telling her not to come in when he was there or whatever the case may be because he might have been in the middle of something. But she did a complete clean of my office and got everything, and she comes into mine and cleans up. So, And I know the other girls are saying some of the same things, and I've seen her dust around. And stuff. I'm not sure what she does or does not do, but right. I haven't seen anything bad about that one. Right. We've had the one prior to that was pretty bad. But so it's incredible. Well, again, it's, it's and it depends on the <laughs> office. I mean, it depends on the offices. I mean, you know, there again, she's a woman, and it's women in their offices, and so she goes up there and she talks to them, and, and she's friendly with them, so she takes care of them. Other people in other areas that don't need to be done don't get done. Um, so I, it's just it, something. What's your thought, Mike? You know, hmm? uh, you think it's something. Oh, well, bad. Don't know if I want to oh. say it. Okay, but. Right. Well, so. I think we should. Can we call out? Is it possible to call out for that? Um, have that company come in sooner than later and start going down that path because they're like obviously example, in breach of contract. I mean, what, what they did, and this shows that's you a how big deal. I mean, with me, starting your school year off not right. ready. And for the contract sake, we do have the RFP. With me trying to manage them, they were told for two years to work on the annex hallways and get the terrazzo stripped down to bare terrazzo and polished. So what did they do this year? They stripped the cafeteria floor. Wasn't asked of them to do it. They spent the better part of a month and a half on and off stripping the cafeteria floor. Not saying it didn't need to be done. It, it looks nice, it, it, it did a nice job, but that was not something that was asked of them. They took it upon themselves to do that. But why wouldn't you do the stuff we've been asking for for two years? So that's that's where the first we have the documented that we asked for, for two years. Do we have oh, I have many emails. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, I'd have to go through the couple thousand I have for them, but yeah, I mean, no. I, I, you but know. that's what we need. I mean, to go out, document, and just hold them. Through. Right. I, I'm more concerned with. Uh, all right, he, they're not doing their job, but we need the job done. How we get the job done and, and have them pay for it. Right. Or deduct yeah. how, however you want to look at Tonight it. they <laughs> had a lady who, who resigned at Monocacy last week because I was giving her keys and her badge last Wednesday. would have been last Tuesday or Wednesday because I wasn't here Thursday and Friday. Um, tonight, as I'm leaving Monocacy at 430, in walked two of the grounds guys. I said, what are you doing here? Oh, we're filling in for April because she's not here tonight. I said, she's not going to be here at all. She resigned. I got her keys last week. Jamie only called them on their way home and had them turn around and come back. They have no Who's keys. Who's the guy that was here that time? Is that Jamie? Yeah, yeah. that's Burns, right? That's Burns. Well, he, <coughs> both of them are here. Yeah, we have both Jamie's one with the big the beard. I don't know. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know that we need to continue no, this discussion. Beard, but I, but this, I um, want to just yeah, kind yeah, of... Yeah, I mean, I think my mind was made up last year. This just solidifies it. We just go out and RFP. I and agree. We've done a different I mean, path. It was Withhold payment for this last... This next and, and they're gonna and a new company yeah, coming in. They're gonna have to have some type of accountability trail here, well, that, so that it's easier for you to manage them at the management level. Well, so he, the, the here the original structure of how this uh, is not ex exactly how I wanted it. Right. How Quaker Town actually did it after they had so much problems with the GCA. It's what they retained an, an employee like a Mr. Templin, you know, for the high school. And one for the immediate school, and one for the elementary. And each building had one that was still a district employee to help, you know, to bring Manage these out. It. So you don't have spores running around making a list. Right. You know, um, a vice principal has better things to do, I would sure. think, with their time than making, see, you know, why funny. Why in another school when he's in a high school, you know, like, I mean, time you call them, why they have somebody I mean, who's... That's, when when that's you have somebody discussion. who's been there 27 right. years and we Kenny even said it goes, next time, that's you know, Kenny, when I, because I, was I wasn't here, I, I was here Thursday morning, but I left Thursday afternoon and Friday. I had, I had a conversation with Kenny, I said, are you going to be here Friday morning? He says, yeah, I'm pitching a tent here for a couple hours just to make sure things run smooth, because I'm not sure if you saw the schedule of what Preston's doing for the first two days, but they really don't have class. They're, again, their iPads, again, their pictures, their weights, their vision... They're getting all that stuff done the first two days, and it's actually working out really well. But you need somebody there that if something comes up, it can be addressed right away. Um, and Kenny's like, "Yeah, I'm going to stay here." I said, like, "Good, thanks. You know, I I, I I appreciate that." So, and just to give you another management thing with them, they hired a second shift maintenance man, Jake, nice kid. Um, so I said to him, "I said, what's your background?" I was in construction for years. 
Jamie's. Okay. So I called Jamie tonight because I called one of their maintenance guys for a part. They didn't have anything. And I said, who's working until 3.30 tonight? He says, I don't know. I said, well, he goes, Jake is. I said, well, what does Jake, what does Jake know? I said, is he hired for basic maintenance? He goes, well, he's at the high school. I said, well, who's doing maintenance for the school district till 3.30? We have, we have kids here till 3.30. You know that. Well, I guess Mike and Kenny didn't figure that out between the two of them. I said, well, it's not their responsibility to figure it out. I said, it's your responsibility to tell them who's working that shift. He goes, well, Jake's there till 6. I said, what does Jake know? He goes, I don't know. I said, can he change a ballast? I don't know. Can he change a flush valve on a toilet? I don't know. I said, well, didn't you have like an aptitude or test form? Well, we don't have aptitude test form. Clearly. I said, but <coughs> I said, but he's my second shift maintenance for general maintenance. I said, and he can't do general maintenance duties. I said, just, you know, I said, whatever. I was like, I, I'm, I'm done. So that's just. Kathy, yeah, do they, um, who's the new company? Um, I, Ray, we have to, we I have, to, to, I have it up in my. You have to put it out for RFP. Yeah, yeah I have to put it up for RFP. But he, they, the nice thing was when we were talking to them, they asked who we had, and I didn't say anything bad. Yep. That's just a conversation, trying to get to know each one and what they have to offer. And he indicated to me that they have been taking over several because there was a lot of the management. He explained some of the things that he knew within the industry, what right. happened with that company. Right. But yeah. interesting. I believe so. Is that Interstate was who talked to me this winter. Did he come in and talk to you? Mm -hmm. Was it an older gentleman? It's the owner. The guy that started the company. I've got his card up there. Uh, but uh, he's at the district where... Uh, where is it? Because he gave me a couple of the districts. Well, he's over in Horsham, I think. They'd have to have some price. But he, if I came in, it'd be you. The board... We're going to give you this on a weekly basis. Because when he was flipping through there, I saw some uh, sheets that they should fill out. Well, they don't fill it out. If they don't fill it out, yeah, fill it out really? yes. step Which one, she close she's the she's door immediately. Door. Back that back that would be the second, the second yes, change he he would be that the maintenance people would be Because I asked her about it back in the winter. Because we've never gotten anyone competent, really. Right. Not overly competent. But he was ready to Basic things. Said he could. But it's not running. How much how many people can we hire? It's um, classic question. Six thirty-five. Mr. Bucky Scott has arrived. Bucky Scott. Hey, uh, Mr. Scott. Sorry. Can I ask you a facilities question? Sure. In the, in our Birdsboro, the uh, emergency evacuation plan. <laughs> Birdsboro Elementary was always one of the places for residents to go if we ever had an emergency. We had to evacuate. We still like to keep that as a place if we had to, but. Now, who would we call? We need contacts. Um, like, if we had to do an evacuation in the middle of the night, I need to get that information to our EMA coordinator. I assume that would be me. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we know we could call Ken. Ten. Yeah. But, okay. Okay. So, hey. I, you're okay, All Casey, if I give. Yeah. His name's Ken right. Imes. Okay. So, if I give him your Thanks. information. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll give him my home number. Because it's, <laughs> my cell phone sits downstairs. So, this is cool. they do and, then, yeah. to look at them. Yeah. And everything talk for call. Some of the people that work for me. Yeah, Jeff Speed. I told you. Off fire. Wonderful cleaning yeah. company. Did not do a very good job. Cool. Start school. So, okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, the high school annex classroom doors. <coughs> you guys love when I bring up doors. The no, we don't. <laughs> just hardware. <laughs> and clocks. Um, the, well, we need clocks yet, too, but we're going to discuss that next month. I'm going to buy a wood plant and um, start selling the school doors. They're really lucrative. <laughs> yeah. The doors have the wood slats on the on <clears throat> Some of the doors still have the wood slats on the lower half. for vent, The old style had them for vent, vent, ventilation reasons. Um, they are definitely not a secure door um, for lockdown reasons and so on and so forth. Um, I did have my vendor in to get pricing on replacement doors. Now, the good part is they're not like your total doors. We can reuse the handles that we just put on. We can reuse the hinges. It's literally the door itself is all it's we're going to have to change. Is plywood over on one side of it? <laughs> There's some doors that are that way. It just, you know. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> um, so just, I just want to bring up the speed okay. that, that, that is something that was brought up by the lockdown experts and also the second group of people that um, came through the high school for, for the security stuff. Do you account? How many doors? It's roughly, 
about 45 to 60. I, I didn't do a, a final count, but. Uh, <coughs> probably like five, what, four or five hundred dollar doors. Uh, Three grand. Maybe seven, eight hundred. Oh. Each door? Forty yeah. grand. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And that's that's a white birch, you know, veneered. It's nothing, nothing real, nothing real fancy. Just you know, just hard. It's your basic run of the mill classroom. Uh, so, um, so that that was that one. Um, I'm gonna skip that next. Four. High school front entrance. Sixty, you said. It's like 40 to 60. I haven't done a final uh, uh, actual count. Because what's kind of weird is like, if you walk down the hallway, one classroom has them, and then the next two classrooms must have been changed at some point in time. You know, So I, I, I can't just go on the, the floor plan and say, OK, I need you know, this <coughs> one kind of thing. So um, uh, high school front entrance um, is 99% complete. Uh, it actually came out really, really nice. Um, you know, there's just a couple little paint jobs and some covers and the DB logo has to be hung up yet. But other than that, came in great. Uh, we are somewhere in the neighborhood of a low to mid 70,000, somewhere in the neck of the woods. So slightly under budget. Yep. Slightly under budget. So we, we, and, and that was including them working some weekends and, and stuff like that. So, uh, I ended up doing 99% electrical, so we saved that expense. I kind of worked around everybody else's schedule, so that that you know that gave us 70 some hundred bucks to play with. So the uh, but Farino was up today. They had to cut some for Mike the countertops for for some ovens, and then they put the last count count countertop in, so it was trimmed correctly and installed correctly. And I didn't want to have our people put in a countertop and after we made the office look so nice and then do that so that, that was that was put in so we are good to go there Preston was very happy with it and, and it did it did come out really nice it, it really did so the uh, water testing results Mike asked me to add to this the question was lead in our water we had it tested last year we're all on municipalities water so it's PA American water and the borough of Birdsboro so, I mean, we can test again just to kind of give everybody peace of mind if you want to. All of our buildings are fairly new. There's not like lead, lead jointed pipes and stuff like that. They're all copper, just solder, be solder and copper, maybe. Yeah, That'd and, the, and you have, you'll have a trace of lead. If you test in a dead leg area, <coughs> you will get higher levels. But there again, they tell you when you test to flush those lines out <coughs> because you're only supposed to test as you're uh, in the consumption areas, I would have had those 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 reports, but as I said, my my email was locked up for some reason. Well, Mr. Rathgeb, I think he was he, he had seen something that that triggered the the question, and I guess it was uh, that the district should have, should post their the results and if you are of the testing, and if you don't do the testing, then you have to state why you don't do the testing, which obviously clearly we did. So it's a question of in the public. <coughs> In the public document section of, uh, of of the website, just you know, put them up there. Okay. You yeah. know that are. Do you want the? Because I'm sure PA America does the same thing. We supply the consumer confidence report. And I'll reach out to you guys, and, and I'll get them. I'll email you guys and get get up, up to date ones, so I can show them that we had them tested independently last year, <coughs> and then you know say yeah. hey, you know we, we had them done, kind of thing. Yep. So. Uh, um, PA Americans just. Spent all this time. They've been flushing, flushing. It's been a mess, but it's yeah. good. And pretty decent source of water. The insurance company sent their all hazards guy, Kathleen. Is that what we want to kind of call him? Yeah. Yeah. Risk manager. Risk manager. There we go. Management, yeah. uh, gentleman in, and, and we walked all the buildings. Uh, he was very happy with the way a lot of the buildings were. Of course, there were things that were very obvious that need to be addressed. Some of the items we were already addressing prior to him coming through. Some of the items, you know, he's like, these are recommendations. They're not required, but we, we recommend you kind of take care of them. So we'll start picking away through that that report now that school is school is gone in, in, in session. Um, I'm going to be compiling a, an email for Mr. Hurley to review. <coughs> 
just the staff about building security, HVAC controls, just the kind of overview of facilities. I kind of was chasing my tail this afternoon on a couple of issues that really weren't issues. So, you know, if I can kind of educate some of the staff and, and stuff. And, and, you know, his, his point was, you know, there's a, uh, a big rock by the door. Well, you don't want to have the big rock by the door. Well, people bring those big rocks to prop doors open. Well, we don't want doors propped open either. So, it, it's, you know, as we're walking through, I'm like, yeah, we, we throw those away when we see them kind of thing. And, you know, in the trash can they went and door stops, you know, wood wet, wood wet, wet, wood wedges, you know, they should all be thrown away. So, personal appliances in classrooms and in offices and stuff like that. I, like he said, I don't mind the mini fridges. I don't mind the microwaves. What I mind are the little porcelain heaters that are underneath people's desks because they, they're cold or, or whatever. So for the feet. Yeah, no. yeah. So, um, so like some areas, we're gonna we're gonna start kind of working to get rid of a lot of that kind of stuff. So, uh, very nice guy. I spent better part of probably three four about three hours with him, four hours with him. Uh, we walk all the buildings. Walked the. Playgrounds, he does play playground inspections, so I'm going to have him come in every six months and, and do them. Then that way it's a certified playground guy. So, I mean, we do our own walk. Get ready. Yeah. 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 They'll get you. yeah. So we, we did, you know, we do our own walk to make sure things are tight and, and doesn't look like anything's worn, which is what he does, but that way people can, you know, we can say, hey, it doesn't cost us anything for him to come in other than the repairs. I remember. When I first got on the committee, it was a big deal with you had to have like a certain amount of mulch or something mm -hmm. like that as cushioning, and uh, that was always like a. That we just bought 120, mm -hmm. 100, 100 yards of it's it amazing how last quick week. That goes away, that mulch. Yeah. This, do you have to use the rubber? Or do you, can you? It's a certified wood play, play, play okay. ground mulch. It's, it's actually certified. So uh, we get it from Mont, Monte, Monte's Mulch right down the street. So. Uh, they treat us good. You know, they, they delivered to where we need it, as as we need it, kind of thing. So, we even do Birdsboro. Continue. Yeah, we did Birdsboro. We top dressed. We top dressed Birdsboro. With the kids not being there as much, we didn't get carried away. Last year, we put a hundred yards on, I think, at Birdsboro because we were really low. So this year, last year, I think I bought two hundred and fifty yards of play, playground mulch because we were low at a lot of the schools. This year, we were able to kind of just top top dress. So, and then rake the the high spots to you know fill in the low areas and stuff like that. So, but uh, and then uh, the other item before we hit the church, uh, this is not not on the list. I was with Mr. Sheffo this morning at the football stadium. The Fry Shack is going to be in need of some repair. The roof has developed a leak. <coughs> some of the plywood on the roof has started to curl upwards. The Roofing is just the the two foot wide rolled roofing, and the drip edge is on top of the rolled roofing, so we're not even getting drip edge installed correctly. There's some plywood that's going to be need need to be redone uh, with the fat fryers in there. There's some ventilation issues. There's there's no exhaust fan currently in there that that's that's operable. The hood that's there is marginal at best, so. Um, you know, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a, a fair amount of, of expense to get things done. We should really have the ceiling um, covered as well with with the with that wa 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 washable R, R, uh, FRP material, you know, kind of thing. So, how far do you guys want to go? It's on our property. It's Does our support a health issue. It's a cleanliness issue, an operational issue, fire hazard well, issue. Well, I don't mean the roof. It's probably a, yeah. But it, do you get inspected by the Board of Health over there? We do not. Wow. You know, now, so. Now, is that, um, is there a point, I know that's like a grandfather building or something like that. Um, I remember from being on the uh, JOC, I was talking about yeah. that because um, they didn't <clears throat> they didn't want to do too much to it because it would trigger like a reclassification or something would happen. Anyway, um, what is what is our responsibility for it? Are we, are we responsible for it top to bottom? Or we, it's it on our property, so I mean, I'm going to defer to Kathleen and Lauren on this one with the insurance side of it. I'm 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 guessing we need to have it 
up the snuff. I mean, they even wore the vent comes out of the hood. They actually cut the two by six. There's about a not much of a two by six left that's supporting the roof in that one in the one area. So that that needs to be kind of changed and yeah, a hole cut in the wall. Yeah, you know, we need to lower the vent and actually put a real exhaust fan with some real ductwork on the outside and 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 do it the right way. Um, we own it. Who uses it? Sports sports boosters. Okay. Well, it's the JOC the. The joint operating committee of the booster of the music boosters and sports the boosters. Little one. The little one, yeah. yeah it's one okay. off the side. So now they had purchased a. They used to make hamburgers in there as well, and then they, when they started using Dairy Queen, he made the burgers and chicken sandwiches. So they've gone away from Dairy Queen. They bought a nice big industrial uh, rolling grill that they're going to cook outside for the hamburgers because they can't do the fries and the hamburgers in that small room with the way the ventilation is now. And I'll be honest with you, I was in there probably 15 minutes one time last year. I walked out feeling like a French fry. That's how much grease I kind yeah, of felt yeah. on me, and I was only in 15 it's, minutes. It's, so. it's, it's a fire hazard, I, I would think. Yeah. You know, that much grease hanging around up there, those traps can get filled. Yeah. They go quick. Yeah. So... Has the current happening. ventilation been cleaned at all? There's no current ventilation. So there's no ventilation. Yeah, no. I think that's a conversation yeah. that we probably don't want to make. Is Steve, about on tape. Steve is the new Scott Potts, right? He's the Steve is the chef. Oh, he's yeah, the new. Joy, okay. <laughs> so I guess my my question would be, you know, to approach the JOC and ask them, you know, what would they be willing to contribute? Because we don't want to shut it down, because that's a right. that's a money maker for them, and sure. they would realize that too. And, you know, we don't have a lot of money to spend on a fry shack, so we'll see right. if what, what okay. they can help us with. All right. But yeah, it should be. Uh, I can't imagine it being too much to put a roof on. It's it's not, but it's it's, it's, it's just it's, it's not something that you know. It's probably not. Right. You know, the, the, there's 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 wall covering. There's a good there's a good wall covering behind the fryers, so they, right. they did do that correctly, and that you can wash it down and that kind of stuff. So, um, just turn that off. So.